So here I have a lens that I've optimized. It's a singlet lens, it's all spherical surfaces. The variables are the radius of the front surface, the back thickness of the lens, and the radius of the second surface is actually controlled by an F number solve, making it F5. If I want to improve this lens any further, one thing that I can do is make it aspheric. And ZMAX has a handy tool for investigating this. It's called the Find Best Asphere tool. And if I use that, and I'll just set it to look at surf from surface 2 to surface 3, and I'll start off with a low order A sphere. And I'll press start, and you can see here the current value of the merit function, and then you can see that the merit function greatly reduces by putting an A sphere on surface number three. If I want to see if I can get any better than that, sixth order A sphere, start. And it does in fact make further improvements. It gives me um, a merit function that's very, very small this time on surface number two, and I think I'll just go for the, the fourth order a sphere. That's about as good as I want, so that's fine. So let's just see, I'll keep an X at that. You'll see the design is nicely uh, diffraction limited. Look at the optical path error, you see it looks like so. And here's my aspheric uh, design. It has just a fourth order term fourth order coefficient on it and because I'm not using these other terms I'm just going to hide them. I'll hide this one as well. So that's my aspheric surface. One thing that I may want to look at as well is the actual curvature of that surface which I can get to under the surface tabs here. I'll look at the curvature cross-section and I'm going to choose surface number 3, which is the aspheric surface. And this is showing me the departure from sphericity of this lens. Uh, curvature is 1 over the radius of curvature. So right at the centre of the lens, the uh, the uh, curvature is given by 1 over the uh, radius of curvature of the lens in the in the editor, but then the asphericity term starts to have an effect and I'm getting this kind of uh, response. If I want I can rescale the lens like so, so or rescale the graph rather, just to make it easier to draw and I can also use my uh, scroll wheel to zoom in and, and out on the, the uh, curvature point. So that's um, looking at um, the asphericity of this data, uh, of this uh, surface. And this is particularly important uh, if I have a multiple order asphere where this curve goes through turning points because it's turning points that are difficult for manufacturers to make. So this is a reasonably uh, straightforward asphere for a manufacturer to make.